Hello and welcome to my channel. My name is Lynn and today I'm so excited. I get to craft with the new Wax Seal Club Kit. And the club kits that I've gotten so far this month are pretty much all Christmas themed. And so I can't tell you how excited I am to be doing a little bit of Christmas in July crafting right out of the gates. So really, really excited. I think the only thing that wasn't Christmas themed in the club kits that I got is the quick and easy uh, card making kit. But otherwise, everything else has been Christmas theme and I'm super excited for that. This particular seal is an oval shaped one and it has the sentiment joy on it and it's really fabulous and I thought that I would maybe try something a little bit different and what's great about the new um, wax seal club kits is that similar to the glimmer club kit you do get some um materials to replenish your stash and in this case it is a um, pack of the wax beads. I happen to get crimson which I actually already just purchased a, a pack of so I'll um I've got all of my different colors here and actually I want to pick up some of the new storage boxes that Spellbinders is now selling for storing, you could use it to store your wax seals, the handles, you could use it to store beads, the wax beads too if you wanted, but I think they're perfectly uh, scaled and designed to uh, to store your seals, which is really great, and that's going to be better than the storage that I've got going on. <laughs> so what I thought I would experiment with a little bit today is using mica powders to color the stamped um, impression in the seal. So I'm actually going to, even though I got uh, this beautiful crimson, I've been, I've been um, crafting with it quite a lot. And so I did a lot of um, crimson and gold seals just recently. And so I wanted to actually try a little bit something different especially since I want to paint essentially the seal design, the seal stamp with mica. I did I did stamp my seal into some sticky Versamark ink just to have that powder, the mica powder grab onto something so that it doesn't just all kind of fall off of the seal as soon as I turn it over to to um, stamp it into the wax. And I've never done this before, so all of this was a bit of an experimentation for me. And the first one that I did didn't have enough mica, I feel. It's very subtle, a little bit too subtle. So I was trying to be a little bit um, light-handed to start, but I really feel like it benefits from more, more, more is better. And so I really, on this one, I really kind of loaded up on the mica. And with, it was the same with the red mica that, um, that I was trying to, that transferred really, really beautifully, but it just felt like it was just a little bit too sparse. And so I'm going to try it again with just a heavier hand of mica, really being generous with it. Normally, especially when I paint with the mica, a little bit goes a long ways. Um, but I really wanted to make sure that I got super good coverage. And so you can see I'm, I'm really getting it right into all of those nooks and crannies and really um, pushing that mica powder in. I, I didn't go back and add any Versamark ink. I feel like it, it grabbed just fine. And the second seal that I'm working with is also a holiday seal. When I do my wax seals, I do like to have, you know, two or more seal designs going at, at the same time because while one is setting, 
you can be melting the wax for your next one. And so this is sort of how I approach glimmering too. Whenever I sit down to do some glimmering, I always pull out some whatever I'm low on, if it's sentiments or background panels. And while I'm glimmering, I just, um, I just glimmer a whole bunch at the same time. The mica, it can get a little bit, um, I wouldn't say clogged, but it doesn't transfer a hundred percent into the wax. So, but mica is really easy to clean off. Just, I just sprayed it with some water and it just ran right off onto the paper towel that I've got to the side there. What I wanted to do just for my own curiosity was I also made a couple of just blank white with the same seal designs and I'm going to try to paint the mica onto the wax after the fact and see if that works any better than actually pressing it in. Mica on its own does not have a binding agent so if you just use water and you paint it you could wipe that right off of the wax and so what I wanted to try is using some gum arabic combined with water. Gum arabic is a binding agent and I just have a solution of it that I have pre-mixed 50-50 um, by weight gum arabic to water and I'm using that solution mixed with the mica powder to paint with. And it does a fairly decent job of um, sticking to the wax. It's a little bit hard to to move it around and to really paint. the. And I don't think all micas are uh, created equal because they are a natural mineral and some particles are larger than others. This red one, for example, it just really wasn't, it really wasn't covering the seal as much um, as the gold. So in that case with the red mica, and so this is one of those things where you kind of have to play and experiment with different colors to just see what sorts of effects that you get. But the red definitely worked out better to, um, to paint the seal and then, um, and then stamp that into the wax. I've also been playing with different pouring techniques. So if you've ever done any acrylic paint pouring, there there are a lot of different techniques that you can play with to get different effects, different looks in um, acrylic, you know, art. Uh, and I wanted to just see how much those techniques transfer to pouring wax. And so this is one where I'm still experimenting a little bit. And I just have two um, spoonfuls of wax and I'm just alternating, pouring one right into the, the other. I'll show you the results of that. I'm going to still experiment with that a little bit more, but I want to just show a little glimpse of um, just something I'm playing with. But here are the ones that are with mica. I definitely feel like some are more successful than others. These three in particular, I feel turned out pretty well. And I'm the, the gold, I think, is subtle, but I really like it. I really like how that turned out. Now, here are the ones where I did some pouring, where I alternated. Um, they are striking. They're just a very different look. I like the sort of marbled look. I like the um, sort of that concentric circle look to some of them as well. So I think my favorite is this one with the um, uh, do not open until December. I did that one off camera where I could really concentrate, <laughs> but some of the other ones I feel came out pretty well. Some aren't super fabulous. What um, you can do with wax seals that you don't love is you can just remelt them and pour them into a different design. So don't toss any seals that you feel like didn't turn out. Just, you know, cut them up and melt them again. And if you, um, you might, you'll probably get obviously a different color as a result, especially if you're doing something two-tone like what I've done. 
but don't let out, don't let any of that go to waste. Maybe you'll create um, a really cool color that is uh, something new and different. I do want to make I do want to make a card with these seals. As fun as it is, just the enjoyment for me is just playing with the wax seals and making them. But of course, you can use the wax seals in a variety of different ways on your um, projects and. The probably the uh, use that readily comes to mind is to actually put it on an envelope, for example. But I I like to incorporate them onto my card fronts as well. And I've got this stretch of just white ribbon that I wanted to customize a little bit with my Delicata inks because actually, as it turns out, I didn't have a gold ribbon that's in this nice three eighths inch uh, width. And so I thought, well, I've got Delicata gold ink, so <laughs> I'll just make my own. And you can do this, I think pretty much with any, any kind of ink, but the, um, you want to, especially if you are using a pigment based ink like I am, maybe give your ribbon a little bit of time to dry before you start handling it because pigment ink just takes a moment to, to really dry. And so I was actually really worried that, um, you can kind of see, I keep having to clean things up because the rest of my card is, has a lot of white. So I was really worried about getting thumbprints and getting stray, stray bits of ink where I don't want it. But all I've done is just put a, a strip of double-sided adhesive tape to the back of my ribbon. And I've taken some of this beautiful foil pattern paper. This is actually from Santa Lane. I'm still crafting with Santa Lane papers because they're so pretty and you get so much in the, um, in the Christmas kit. So that's where this paper is from. And all I've done is just, uh, taped down the, uh, this strip of ribbon, and then I'm going to tape another bit of ribbon going, um, perpendicular to make it almost seem like this is a wrapped present. And of course, that's another way that you can use wax seals is to, um, to actually add that, that bit of accent when you do wrap your presents. And, um, and so I'm going for that look on my card, but you could definitely do that with actual presents. And instead of, or in addition to putting a little gift tag on the present, you can put a little wax seal on the present too. So think about doing that. You could seal up gift bags too with wax seals. So really, you know, I think they, they make great accents for just a variety of purposes. But I do like to, uh, sometimes when there is some element of my card that is really special, like a wax seal, I like to keep everything else kind of simple just so that it really lets that element shine. And I think in this case, just keeping the rest of the card design really clean and simple helps you to focus your attention on the um, this gorgeous wax seal. And I'm really excited to actually do some more experimentation with mica powders. And in particular, I kind of want to try mica onto a dark wax color too. So I'm, I'm gonna definitely be exploring this technique more, but I love how it, um, it turned out a little hard to see all of the details on camera, but in person, it's just, it's just gorgeous. I hope that you enjoyed this video and thank you for joining me today. And until next time, happy crafting and have a fabulous day. Thanks. Bye.